We're going to divide 148 divided by 4. We're going to use our big 7. Okay, the first thing I'm going to think about is what can I multiply 4 by that's going to get me close to 148. And even though this is in the hundreds, I know 4 times 100 is 400. So that's not going to work. I'm going to just use 10. I'm going to do 10 times 4. And that equals 40. I'm going to put my 10 up here because that's part of my partial quotient. And my 4 came from my divisor of 4. So then I'll subtract. Let's see what we have. We have 8, a 0, and a 1. 108. Now I'm going to think I could use 10 times 4 again. That would be another 40. But I want to be a little bit more efficient. So I think I'm going to try 20 times 4. 20 is a double of 10. 20 times 4 is 80. And then I'm going to move my 20 up here with my other partial quotients. So 20 times 4 is 80. I'm going to subtract 8. And then I have 10 groups of 10 minus 8 groups of 10 leaves 2 groups of 10 or 20. Okay. And somebody might ask, why didn't I do 20 times 5 to equal 100? I always have to use my divisor to multiply with. 5 is not part of this problem. So my divisor is always what I'm going to be multiplying by. Now I have 28 and 4 times something might get close to 28. I might use 5 times 4 because I know that's 20. 5 times my 4 is 20. And then I'll put my 5 up here. I'm going to bring this down. Now that leaves 8. So 4 times 2 equals 8. So I'm going to put my 2 times 4 equals 8. And that's going to zero me out down here. I'm going to put my 2 up here. So I have my partial quotients. I got a 0. So I used all 148 pieces. And now we'll come over here and add up my partial quotients to get my final answer. So I had 20, and I had a 10, a 5, and a 2. I always like to list them in order, greatest to least, to add. It's a habit. 5 plus 2 is 7, and then 2 plus 1, 3. So 148 divided by 4 equals 37.